In this video, we are discussing installing Spark into Linux system and we shall discuss step by step. So at first visit this link and find Spark related to your Hadoop version. So link has been provided. So if you go to this link, you will be getting multiple different versions for Spark. So that version has to be selected which is matching with your Hadoop version. Export the files into your local system. Edit slash etc slash profile file and add spark slash bin path into the path variable. And then run again slash etc slash profile file to activate the paths. And in the terminal run scala hyphen shell to start the shell and if you can do this one then obviously the spark installation will be completed. So let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of these steps. In this demonstration, we are going to show you that how to install Spark on our system. So at first we are going to download the Spark here from the link as it has been shown here. And as we are dealing with the Hadoop 2.4, so the respective 2.4 version of the Spark will be required for our installation for the compatibility issues. So here the download link for the Spark is also mentioned for the Hadoop 2.4 but also we can search it from the list of all the other versions of the spark available so at first we're going for the copy of this download link the url is getting copied and pasting it here now you can find that respective version that is hadoop 2.4 the spark has to be downloaded for the hadoop 2.4 here so going for the search so we have got it clicking here save the file and then ok so the file is getting downloaded onto our download folder so the download has been completed successfully so here we are having the zip file has got extracted we are under the home folder we are going to create one folder with the name spark and then log into that folder we are going for con control a that is a select all and then we drag all the files onto the spark folder closing the download folder here now we are going to set the respective path here so we are going for sudo gedit slash etc slash profile so this particular file has to be updated with the path giving the password so coming at the end making a space here so this is the respective path to be copied so that is export path is equal to dollar path colon slash home big data slash spark slash bin so this respective path has to be put uh, to that uh, slash etc slash profile file in the copy and pasting it at the end saving it closing it now coming to the terminal we are going to execute the profile so that the path will get reflect will get effective and now we are going for this spark execution so how to execute this one spark hyphen shell without having any blank space in between you can find that the spark is getting executed and in this way I have shown you that how to install spark on our system so you can find the Scala uh, uh, prompt has come here so there is a Scala prompt so in this way you have shown you that how to install spark in our system and what are the different steps we require to do so